Cowboys. Oh, please. I was surrounded I mean, by please. giants. I didn't know that. Please. No, I'm a Steelers guy. I'm a Steelers guy. I'm a New Yorker, but I'm a Steelers guy. From way back. Come on, man. I love my Steelers. You need to stop. Big Blue. Who the said that? That's not The that's division not. is up for grabs again, as it always is. All right, you're going to get to see. I'm you. That's right. You're going to get to see Beckham versus Norman September 25th at MetLife. That one, week three. Darren, thank you for being here. By the way, always good to see you. there's two moments in my life as a football fan that are sickest. Number one on the list is when Tim Tebow threw that pass to Marriott oh, Thompson yeah. and still is in the playoffs. Yeah. The other is when Neil O'Donnell threw that interception. Go ahead, and give the it Dallas to Dallas Cowboys beat the yeah, Steelers third in ring. football. You know oh, please. I'll let you wear it. I, I never heard I'll of Larry it. Johnson I'll before or Larry after. Larry Larry but that day, Larry Brown, I'm sorry, Larry Johnson, Larry Brown. <laughs> Polly and I have some pretty good memories of yeah, the Giants do. Super Bowls, too. I don't, I don't, I don't I can't, can't think of them offhand, but I remember them undoing the greatest team of all time. I remember the Giants as well. I remember those days. Okay. I just, I'm just saying. Man, it's time for you to go. Let's leave it there. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. You didn't think we could get through right this sports whole show calling, without man. addressing yeah. Draymond Green. Well, he found himself in another compromising situation over the weekend, sending out an inappropriate Snapchat picture. We will react to that and how it could affect his future when we come back. I don't know this Max coming. I don't know you right now. I get it. He's famous. <laughs> what have you done with Stephen A. Smith? You, your boys can't come over your house. I'd like to lick the tears off their faces oh, like God. Scott Hennerman. Damn. People blowing me up on Twitter. It's the truth. Harry. He needs. And last point is this. That's a blunt. Stay off the weed. <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack knocked over a candlestick onto the shag carpeting, and his pants ignited into flames, causing him to stop, drop, and roll. Luckily, Jack recently had Geico help him with renter's insurance, because all his belongings went up in flames. Jack got full replacement and now has new pants he ordered from Banana Republic. Visit geico.com and see how affordable renter's insurance can be. Wow. How amazing is this? Harry Kate! The jealous of the boy! Great job! You stronger, higher, faster! If you're young at heart, hold it, hold it! Here is the best part. You have a head start. Oh. If you are oh. amongst the oh. very young at heart. I can't believe the five buck lunch comes with a DQ Sunday. I can't believe it comes with a bacon cheeseburger, fries, drink, plus a DQ Sunday. It's like the Sunday is free. I can't believe we stopped for lunch. Nothing fills you up like the five buck lunch. or a sales event. The summer of Audi sales event is here. Get up to a $5,000 bonus on select Audi models. Introducing T-Mobile's most epic deal ever. Get a free Samsung Galaxy for everyone in the family. That's right, free. And get four lines for just 30 bucks a line. Don't miss this epic deal. You know that moment as you begin your morning routine, it borders on ritual. As you take in what happened overnight, you're more equipped than ever to make things happen right here, right now. Welcome to the new Scott Train. Whether you know where you're going or need guidance to get there, we're here to help. Now is your moment. Kathy's gotten used to the smell of lingering garbage in her kitchen. Yep, she's gone nose blind. She thinks it smells fine, but her guests smelled this. Febreze Air Effects Heavy Duty has up to two times the odor eliminating power to remove odors you've gone nose blind to. Use Febreze Air Effects till it's fresh and try Febreze Small Spaces to continuously eliminate up to two times the odors for 30 days. Febreze Small Spaces and Air Effects. Two more ways to breathe happy. Hey, Commissioners. Hello. Hi. Pick ESPN for your fantasy football league and get help from experts like Matthew Barry. You know me. I'm the guy that gives you fantasy football advice.
Where am I? Or because ESPN's number one app will be your BFF with the most up-to-date tools. Nah, I like my fantasy football the way I like my overalls. Straight out of the 90s and barely hanging off. Well, whenever you're ready, we make it easy to be commish. Start your league at ESPN.com or... In La Pulperia, we want everybody to come in here and to feel like home. The atmosphere we want to create for our customers is a very friendly restaurant. They have food, they drink, they dance, and they live happy. We chose Time Warner Cable Business Class as our technology partner. Make the smart switch today. Get 10 meg high-speed internet, Wi-Fi hotspot access, and a free modem starting at $59.99 per month when purchased with our reliable phone service. Because we have two restaurants, we use the call forwarding for both restaurants. We can answer from the other location. We use high-speed internet in so many ways. For reservations, run the credit cards, to provide Wi-Fi for the customers. Make the smart switch today. Get 10 meg high-speed internet, Wi-Fi hotspot access, and a free modem starting at $59.99 per month when purchased with our reliable phone service. It's so simple and easy. You just have to make one call. Call today or visit us online to learn more. What's your name? Tonight on ESPN, it's the Subway Series as the Yankees start a two-game set with the Mets at City Field. Always fun, 7 Eastern on ESPN. Also streaming live on Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. After the game, stay with ESPN Baseball. Tonight, we'll have you covered. Also tonight at 11 Eastern, stop in for a little sports center at night with Bucci and Anderson. They'll have all the highlights from the Diamond, NFL training camp updates, and the rest of the day's sports news. Speaking of which... Draymond Green has had to do a lot of apologizing this last couple months. It's no secret it's been a rough offseason for Green. After he was suspended in the NBA Finals, he lost in Game 7, was arrested last month following an altercation with a former Michigan State football player. Then yesterday, Draymond had to apologize again after posting a picture of his private region on social media. Shortly after removing the photo from his Snapchat account, Green tweeted, hacked, can't win right now. But the Warriors forward later told reporters he was lying. He meant to send the photo as a private message saying I kind of hit the wrong button and it sucks. Green is currently with Team USA in Houston practicing for the Olympics in Rio. Stephen A, is Draymond going to last next season with the Warriors? I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. When Stephen A. Smith says I don't know if a guy is going to last with the, a season with the team, my first question is always, is, are you just kind of thinking about it, or is this based on stuff you're hearing? No, I'm thinking about it because of the people that I know within that organization. Let me say this. Yep. <clears throat> it's very important that I, I, that, that I qualify my statements because I'm a huge fan of Draymond Green, the player and the person. I love the guy, and I think that the kind of energy that he brings to the basketball court, I'd want him on my team any day gotten to know him a little bit. I'm very, very fond of the Michigan State program because I love me some Tom Izzo, who I would want, if I had a son, I would want him playing for Tom Izzo. That's how I feel about that man. Here's my thing about Draymond, and I hope he's watching this because forget, you know, the snafu, that's his personal business, whatever mistake he made, that's fine, and I ain't getting into all of that, okay? I work for Walt Disney. I'm just not going there. What I will say is this. Draymond Green is being praised by a lot of people because of what he does on the court. My brother, do not think for one second that they won't turn against you in a flash. He needs to understand this. The Golden State Warriors have Kevin Durant now. Now, obviously, Draymond has the kind of requisite skills that complement both Steph, Clay and Kevin Durant being on the same team. But it also diminishes the need for him if he becomes too problematic. Now, I don't believe that this is something that would happen, but let me tell you something. As somebody who's gotten to know the Warriors organization, whether it's Joe Lacob, whether it's Bob Myers, uh, to a lesser degree, Steve Kerr. I think a lot of people misconstrue. My thinking Mark Jackson should have never been fired, which is something the Warriors know that I have always felt takes nothing away from the great organization that they are, the great coach that Steve Kerr has proven to be, even though he didn't have a great game seven. And by the way, Steve Kerr is a fantastic guy. He's a good man. So I don't want this to be misconstrued. But what I'm saying is Bob Myers is also a good guy. 
And Joe Lacob is about winning. And he's about winning and being positive while doing it. And he absolutely loves Draymond Green. But Draymond Green speeding down the highway at 118 miles an hour and, and Snapchatting it at the same time, even though his mama was right when his mama came out publicly and said, don't act like we've never tested how fast our car could go from time to time. There are people that have foolishly done that. He's not the only one. But no one's sitting here, of course. Well, of course not. Of course not. Never not that, of us. Never, never. That, never that. Never that. But the point is, is that not only that, but then you got to remember the situation after the finals and you got into a beef and got arrested, yep. you know, because of the beef in the nightclub. OK, and then now this. These are not things that have made the Golden State Warriors the brand that they have become. And I'm not saying this to chastise Draymond Green. I got number love for the brother. I'm saying this to warn him, and it's not to cast aspersions on the Golden State Warriors organization. I'm saying any organization, any brand, they can hug you, they can kiss you, they can sing kumbaya to you, they can throw parties for you, they can do all of this stuff. At the end of the day, any organization that believes you are compromising their money and their bottom line because of image issues ultimately will turn on you if you're not careful and that is the message that i want to send to draymond green he's got to stop making the news for these reasons which is why i said i don't know because the personnel at the golden state warriors have in place max if draymond green finds himself continuously getting bad press if there is one team that can actually afford to lose him right now it's go to state. I sincerely doubt they'll do it, but they could afford to. He needs to be careful. I don't think they can afford to, and I think that's why he's okay. Now, by the way, not only just the off the, feet, off the court stuff, but sometimes a guy is so high energy all the time, that can even wear thin in the locker room, even if he is the emotional center and the, the kind of spiritual leader of the team. If that dude is on all the time, that can wear thin over time, I think. Um, well, you're right, because you remember during the halftime of the o oh, o yeah. o o OKC Warriors game, he, you know, cussed out Steve Kerr. Yep. I'm here to tell you that Draymond actually got a bad rap for that because... You know, considering now he's the workman, you don't go into the locker room and isolate him and call him out, which is how he took it, which is why he blew up. So I don't condemn him for that, but it was still bad press for Draymond. Draymond was almost the finals MVP. Let's not forget. He was almost, if, if one of the greatest players who ever lived, probably the greatest player since Michael Jordan at his best, didn't go ham in game seven, Draymond, they win that game. 32, 15, and 9. going to be finals MVP. I mean... But he's the, he's the crazy guy on the team. A lot of teams had that one crazy guy, right, where it's like a Dennis Rodman on the, on the Jordan Bulls team, that, the second three-peat, where it's like, can this guy hold it together when we need him to hold it together? Vontez Burfecht, that was the question with Cincinnati and, and Pittsburgh, and it was like, actually, with Burfecht, the answer was no at the end of the day. He couldn't. Literally, at the end of the game, he couldn't. Um, Draymond, I'm st I think the jury's still out there because on the one hand, he did get suspended a game. They did lose that game. On the other hand, the way that series played out, I don't think that would have made a difference. I don't think LeBron was going to let these guys, those guys lose. And, and, and Draymond didn't do anything else where, well, he did actually, but he didn't wind up missing any more time. So he is really walking that fine line for that crazy guy who you hope can can keep it together but this is why i really think he's okay i don't think he's in jeopardy and i think even with kevin durant on the team they really need him strategically he's what makes them different uh every he has revolutionized the big man position and you could call it a four you could call it a five point forward point center whatever it is man shoots 49 percent from the field and 38 percent from three from three range. now you can say that's because and i think correctly that steph curry is not all three pointers are equal are created equal steph is shooting from so far away that that's actually the, in the spread pick and roll that's that's really creating more space than there's ever been created Correct. and so it makes draymond go from a 33 percent shooter to a 38 percent shooter which is all the difference in the world in the modern nba but draymond can shoot the three
He can swarm in the paint. He can uh, rebound. He can make great decisions with the ball as a kind of a point forward. He can put the ball on the floor. He's so well-rounded that, in fact, when other GMs are looking at the Warriors, strategically speaking, one of the players you must take into account, uh, even with Steph and Durant on this team, really the question is, what are we going to do about Draymond? How do we match up with that? Or how do we get a guy like that? Like Carl Anthony Towns right now has supplanted for many Anthony Davis as the big you want because he came into the league shooting the three very well. They made him do it in college. And now it's like a, he's kind of Draymond Green, but bigger and better and more talented. Like that's one of the re Draymond's existence is one of the reasons a guy like Carl Anthony Towns exists with the game he has and the reason it's so coveted. And besides the fact that he's Steph's real pick and roll partner. I mean, I think strategically, Draymond has such importance to this team that even with Durant there, he, his, his importance cannot be uh, undermined. Well, well uh, you see, that's all fine and good and excellent basketball analysis. But that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is a Golden State Warriors team that's scheduled to move into a new arena in a couple of years in San Francisco. We're talking about a Golden State Warriors team that has the Golden Boy, the reigning two-time league MVP, who can it get any nicer than him? I mean, one of the true, true gentlemen this sport has ever seen. We're talking about a backcourt that's considered the greatest shooting backcourt in the business. We're talking about an owner in Joe Lacob who is elite absolutely believes his organization is elite and literally considers themselves the new standard bearers. And so when you look at it from that perspective, again, I'm not saying this is something that they're entertaining at the moment or anything like that. I'm simply giving Draymond Green a head Warning. up because I got that much love for the brother. I want him to know. I don't care how much they hug you and smile at you and tell you something. Don't push the envelope if you want to stay in Oakland, because if you keep being in the news for the wrong reasons, they will turn on you in a heartbeat. There's a slew, there's a history of players who are was shell shocked. That an organization that loved them dearly and valued them decided to say goodbye. Be careful. La last point on that. I still think he's okay, even having said that, unless the Warriors are actually a loser organization who cares so much about their brand image that they will sacrifice championships. Durant and I love Kevin Durant. In Game 7 against uh, uh, the Warriors, he came up small. In Game 7 against Cleveland, Steph Curry looked like he didn't want it. I know he was probably compromised. Klay Thompson went cold. Do you know who went bananas? Draymond Green. With the chips on the line when it seemed like no one else right. wanted it in Game 7 of the Finals, mm -hmm. Draymond showed up big. We can and, an and that dude is a championship player. We, we can reach an accord. You're probably right in terms of, based off of what you said, Maybe we don't move them now, but next summer, if you keep yep. getting yeah, don't, slip, Draymond. don't slip, Draymond, <laughs> don't slip, you better keep I, playing. You're saying that, I'm just saying, again. I'm just looking, looking out for him and saying don't slip. Don't let it compromise don't slip. your production, Stop money, this. your yeah. team's money. Yeah. And I'm quite well, sure he, that Tom Izzo will tell him the same thing. You better keep getting those triple doubles on a winning team. No question. Go. When we come back, there is a quarterback competition brewing in San Francisco. Is Chip Kelly already making a mess with the Niners? We'll explain and react when we come back. Wreck the rec room this summer. His stellar notebooks will last through June. Get back to great. This week, these items just one cent each. Office Depot office maps. Gear up for school. Gear up for great. Introducing Pizza Hut's first $5 flavor menu. Just five bucks each when you order two or more. Say yes to a medium one-topping pizza. Yes to Wing Street Wings. Yes to new stuffed garlic knots. And much more. It's easy to say yes to our first ever $5 flavor menu. Only at Pizza Hut. Wow. 